List building secret number 21. Use a dynamic email signature. This is so simple, yet people forget to even do it or do it properly. If you send out quite a few emails every day, this is a great method to pick up some new subscribers. All you need to do is at the end of each email you send out, have a four-line ad for your newsletter. You could use a classified ad you've already written for eZine Advertising. You will be surprised how many people will sign up for your newsletter. List Building Secret Number 22 Press Releases Not Dead, Just Evolved Mark Twain once said the rumors of his death had been greatly exaggerated. The same may be said for the press release. It's not dead, but its mission has evolved. Those PR practitioners who are spreading these death rumors would have you believe that press releases should never be written nor distributed. I take issue with this old school thinking. Let's talk about the evolution of the press release into a solid tool for helping organizations deliver key messages to multiple audiences in the digital age. In the not-so-distant pre-internet past, Press releases were aimed solely at trade and consumer media outlets. And consumer media outlets. The media acted as the gatekeepers, taking your information and making decisions about how or if to use it. Organizations today are able to bypass the media filter in a number of ways, thanks to the net. Consider this. Both journalists and consumers use the web for research. More than 550 million searches are done daily via the web, and every month U.S. web users conduct 27 million searches at Yahoo, News, Google News, or other news search engines. According to recent surveys by Middleburg Ross and the Pew Internet Project, we learn that 98% of journalists go online daily, 92% do it for article research, 76% to find new sources and experts. 73% to find press releases. 68 million Americans go online daily. 30% use a search engine to find information. 27% go online to get news. But you need to think differently about writing your releases in this new age. You can extend the power of your press releases beyond the media by positioning them for search engine pickup. In effect, your press releases become a long-lasting, online, searchable database about your organization. Once properly written with both readers and search engines in mind, with both readers and search engines in mind, you need to distribute the release. PR Web and PR Newswire are my two favorite ways to get the message out. Both services help you reach into the newsroom and beyond. PR Web emails press releases daily to between 60,000 to 100,000 global contact points. Journalists, analysts, freelance writers, media outlets and newsrooms, as well as your average web users, are signed up to receive this information. Also, it distributes releases via FTP XML feeds and through a network of its own websites. PR web-related sites are in the top 2,500 most visited sites. Every release sent out through PR Web is optimized for search engines, and PR Web guarantees your release will be picked up by Yahoo, which is the number one most visited website on the Internet. Does it work, you ask? Let me provide a recent example. I used PR Web to send out a release about my client Brent Dees and his Focus 4 training for entrepreneurs. The editor of Leadership Excellence emailed me after seeing the release and asked Brent to write an article for his magazine. The granddaddy of press release services is PR Newswire, which distributes directly into the central editing computers at daily newspapers, news weeklies, national news services, trade publications, and broadcast newsrooms. It reaches a total of 22,000 media points in the U.S. alone. All releases are distributed to and archived in more than 3,600 websites, databases, and online services. Additionally, 
PR Newswire's website is in the top 2,000 most visited sites on the Internet. Finally, let's take a look at the online media room. At the online media room, its primary purpose is to provide journalists with easily accessible data about the organization, such as executive bios, earnings, figures, key contacts, and other solid factual information. An organization also should place news releases here, particularly those aimed at key stakeholders like employees, strategic allies, and investors. Technology-savvy consumers often visit online media rooms for the same reason journalists do. They expect to find factual information there. Churning out releases and dumping them willy-nilly on the media is a dumb practice. But using releases as strategic weapons to reach key audiences across the digital divide is smart PR. Practitioners who believe the news release is dead need to evolve, or they will be the moribund ones. Harry Hoover is managing principal of Hoover Inc. PR, www.hooverinc.com. He has 26 years of experience in crafting and delivering bottom-line messages that ensure success for serious businesses like Brent D's Financial Planning, Focus 4, Levelor, New World Mortgage, North Carolina Tourism, Ty Boyd Executive Learning Systems, Velux, and Verbatim. List Building Secret Number 23. Give Your Newsletter Personality. What makes you different from any of the other newsletters out there in your market? One thing and one thing only. Your personality. Don't be a lifeless drone. Add some spark to your writing. Be funny. Be witty. Be controversial. Just don't be boring. Tell a story. Stories are a great way to get people hooked before they realize you are actually selling them anything at all. List Building Secret Number 24 Make sure to keep your newsletter off spam lists. Here are some very useful tips to make sure you stay out of hot water when it comes to being called a spammer. Make sure your email message is compliant with the can spam law. Make sure your list is double opt-in. Keep detailed records of all subscribes and unsubscribes. IP addresses, when they subscribed, and when they unsubscribed. Don't ever purchase bulk email lists or harvest emails from the Internet. If you use co-registration companies, make sure they are reputable and don't use shady methods of traffic gathering. If you have an affiliate program, make sure you include an anti-spam provision in your agreement. Avoid using spam trigger words like spam, free, special, guaranteed, etc. List building secret number 25 don't buy mass email lists. I was just reading a post on a well-known marketing forum today, and I read one from a guy who said he had access to a list of 800,000 email addresses from people who were interested in making money. He said his friend owned the list and was willing to let him use it for a mailing, but he said not to mention his name at all in the mailing. This should have been the first alarm bell for this guy. Not to mention that this guy wasn't sure how the list was compiled or how the people subscribed to the list. It wasn't even just one big mailing list. It was a bunch of lists stuck together. If this guy does decide to mail this list, he will be accused of spam. He will get into major trouble and he will not make any money worth the effort. Never ever send emails out to lists you don't know anything about, ever. Never buy bulk email lists. List building secret number 26. Set up a free e-course for new subscribers. This step doesn't have to be difficult. This free course is the vehicle to promote whatever it is you want to promote, whether it is an affiliate program, your newsletter, which is a given, or your own product. It will also be the catalyst that allows you to contact these leads as often as you want. I will warn you now, however, that you don't want to contact them every day, maybe not every week, only when you have something substantial to email to them. This keeps your list happy, and not full of junk emails that no one will end up reading. First off, though, we need a title for your report. 
no one is even going to subscribe if it doesn't interest them. This is where a lot of writers really wreck a perfectly good report. You have to make your title as exciting and straight to the point as possible. Here are a few examples of very poor titles. Making Money Online Migraine Relief Report Create Your Own Products Easily Play Chess Like a Pro I might have been a little harsh to say they are poor titles. They just lack any spark or imagination. Here are a few suggestions I have to spruce those titles up, and these can be used in any other titles as well. Make Money Online in Seven Days with Residual Income Affiliate Programs. Stop Migraines in Five Easy Steps. Create Sizzling Digital Products Instantly that Sell Like Crazy. Learn Chess Strategy Now and Win Like a Pro. So what is the easiest way to create your own free five-day course? The best way to create your free course is to write five or so articles yourself on the subject you're promoting and putting it into a free course. The problem most people have when they try and do this is that they try and write thousands of words all at once and they get tired and never complete it. If you break it down into sections, it's a lot easier. For example, if I was to write a free course on creating your own fishing lures for profit, I would write something like this. Article 1. Why Fishing Lures Are So Profitable Article 2. How to Create Your Own Fishing Lures From Your Table Article 3. How to Automate the Whole Lure Making Process Article 4. How to Market Your Lures Offline Article 5. How to Market Your Lures on a Budget Online and in each of these articles, I would weave an affiliate link into somewhere or mention my newsletter. The information has to be of high quality and not just a blatant plugathon. If you do this, you will certainly get a lot of people unsubscribing from your list. Of course, you can't really just send your prospects a bunch of articles. You have to weave them together. For instance, the first email they get could be a thank you for subscribing. For instance, the first email they get could be a thank you for subscribing email with a don't forget to get your free gift line in there somewhere. This first email, you should try and hook your prospects, so if you have an article section that's better than the rest, put it in the first day. List Building Secret Number 27 Send Testimonials to Products You've Used this is an easy way to get a trickle of new subscribers daily to your website. Whenever you use a product or service you really like, send them a great glowing testimonial and they will gladly put it up on their website and put a link to your website with it. The trick here though is to get as many people who read your testimonial to your website and to subscribe to your newsletter. The best way to do this is to register a new domain name solely for catching subscribers from testimonials, something catchy, and put a name squeeze page as your main page. You will slowly get a nice stream of new subscribers every day for as long as the product or service is selling for. These are 27 of my best list building tips and tricks. I trust you have learned some new tactics and best wishes in your future list-building endeavors.